Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 11 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to talk about margins and column uh, toolbox inside of Adobe InDesign. So margins and uh, columns are actually a part of InDesign and it'll actually, it actually helps you to adjust the uh, margins and columns right on the fly inside of InDesign. So uh, right now I have these dummy paragraph text right here. So you can see that the margin is right about yay big just like this. So if you want to adjust it, what you can simply do is uh, you can go to uh, a table. Let's see this. All right. So let me go to layout over here and you can see margin and columns right here. So just click on it and you can see by default uh, the top margins are three pikers. So if you want to change the margin, what you can do is you can simply uh, turn on the preview so that I can see what is happening. So if I were to change the margin, you can see that all of the margins are being adjusted right there. And right now, I just want to adjust one part of the margin and not all of it. So in order to do that, what I can do is I can simply uh, do the unlink. I can just uh, check the unlink over here and you can see that only the top uh, margin moves as I do that. And this only affects the part like, let's say, the page two and three, which is being selected right now. So if I were to increase this, only the top page increases. If I were to increase this, only the bottom um, bottom increases over there and so forth. As you can see, I can actually just adjust the inside and outside. But you, you notice that nothing is happening uh, over there uh, onto uh, the uh, layout option right here. So it does not actually affect the content in the layout. So if you want to adjust the layout as well, then you can do that as well. So let me just go to margin and column section right here. And if I were to select enable layout adjustment over here and then change the inside and outside, you can see that if it affects the layout as well. And if we were to increase the cutter, you can see that that affects the layout as well. And if I were to change the column, you can see that that affects the layout as well as you can see, just like that. So this is how uh, margins, uh, margins actually work. So you do not want to make a lot of changes after you design it. But let's say if you were to disable the enable layout adjustment and increase this, you can see it only affects the layout uh, just like that. So once you press OK, you can see this. So if I were to go to the top right here, you can see that the top page is as it is. And whenever you have a lot of pages right here, maybe you want to adjust margins and columns for all of those pages right there. So in that case, what you can do is you can just select a master page right here. So select both of the master page and then go uh, set, set the margins and columns. Let's do, let's say something like five columns and press OK. And you can see that it affects this and the new page is right here. All right. So let me just, uh, this all are, uh, are being selected in C master, I guess. All right. So let me just select uh, new pages. All right. So I just created new master. Sorry for that. Let me just create new pages just like this. And you can see that all of the pages now have five columns just like this. Uh, except for this one because I adjusted that later on. So you can see that all of these actually have five columns. So if you want to apply uh, columns and margins um, to all of the pages, then just select uh, the master page and then apply margins and columns to it. So uh, that's how you adjust the layout uh, in your InDesign uh, document. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.